Hello and welcome back to Inquisitor Martyr. Last time we finished off two of the three last final missions we have, and now we get to end our Void Crusade. We don't have all the keys, that might have been my fault from oopsieing that one, but it's fine. We will do the Supreme Mission. Actually, are any of these better? Oh no, that's worse. Okay, so this one. Nah, no modifiers. Let's just get it done. Let's not mess with a good thing here. Yes, if I succeed or fail, the Void Crusade will end. Got my dice roller ready to go in case we need it for the loot. I don't actually have anything really to talk about this time. I got all my thoughts out, and as of recording this, nothing major has happened. So, of course, by the time this is all said and done, and this video actually comes out, tunnel stuff will have happened. I, I say it every time, and it, it's true. Of course, that's to be expected. The world waits for no one. Ooh, say I'm excited for Remnant 2. That's coming up. That's end of the month. That's gonna be fun. I wasn't too sure on the classes. Cause like... They felt kinda weird. I don't... I don't know how I feel. Because I don't know if... Like weapons are gonna have the same... Cool effects and stuff like they used to. Because they've rolled... Some of the stuff into classes. Prime example being the healing pool thing is now part of the medic class. Which is cool, I'm definitely playing medic because that's really useful. Their abilities look really good. Bunch of revive stuff. I think they can actually do a self-res, which for playing through this the story stolo stolo. Solo. I'm gonna roll that. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do medic like handler or whatever the doggo man is it, they said it, it can heal summons which makes me think there's more options I don't think we've seen all the classes yet if they have a summoner class I'm taking that but I think it's gonna be medic off the bat what I didn't like is I saw stuff where they're like oh if you pre-order the game you get access to like gunslinger early and I was like wait what do you mean early you tell me some of these classes are more or less like content locked that it's like oh you have to it's gonna be in the game regardless but I'm like is this something where you're gonna be like oh you have to progress the story unless you pay and then you get this because I just don't like that I think for all the classes it should be just okay pick one that's your starting class and then whether it's hit level 2 hit level 10 hit whatever the game then goes okay now is your second portion because that's all I want oh oh wow he just manhandled him Here, I was expecting the worst. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I just kind of question how they're doing a lot of the stuff. I wish they would say how, but I also understand they don't really need to say. It's just my own little inkling questions that I'm curious on. Oh, I actually... I do have something to talk about. I just remembered it. There was... I saw news about this. Wow, that Earth. was it. It is time to reap the rewards of your crusade, Inquisitor. There must be a teleport beacon nearby. But there was a guy who... He bought... $3,500. $3,500. worth of, like, Nintendo stock. So that during a uh, shareholder meeting he could more or less like complain about how Splatoon is 
And I had to laugh because people were like, oh, this guy's entitled. I'm like, this dude was willing to pay over three grand to voice his concerns. I'd say that's dedication. And on top of that, let's be real, more of these, like, investors should probably be looking into what the consumers think about these games. Because this is their money in the end of things. If the consumers are like, hey, give us better microtransaction options and we will pay for stuff, you think investors would go, oh, we should make sure these people are willing to spend money on our stuff. As opposed to just being like, yeah, do whatever, we, we're getting some money. Why get some when you can get all? Okay, so we have four we don't know. Blueprints, don't really care. Tarot cards and void shards, contents unknown. Architect shards, ancient relics. Architect relics. Okay, so let's go... Archaeotech relics. Saw some good stuff in there. Tarot cards and void shards. Because we can always use them. Actually, we have five. So, don't want blueprints. Because one of these is morality relics. So let's just... You know, we will let the dice decide which one we pick first. Three. So if we go from here, it's one, two, three. Psalm codes. Okay, that's acceptable. And then one, two, three. Got a two. Yeah, Electroid Shielding. That was that was a morality relic thing for one of these guys. That's pretty cool. Then at this point, I guess, just kinda take some ancient relics. Cause I don't want blueprints. And I don't want Archaeotech shards. Let's just take whatever this is. Probably shouldn't have taken that one, that one sucks. And we'll just take this. Oh, that was consumables. Eh, that's not bad. I can always use consumables on stuff. In general, I'd say that was a pretty good run. Yay, Void Crusade completed! Now let's go through what our loot is. Actually... Oh, that uh, morality thing was armor. Electroid shielding. See... That's not bad. See, this is the curse. It's not bad. And it's better than my current armor. But I have fear on hit, increased fear duration, damage bonus against feared enemies. 8% HP, which is a huge boost. 300 HP. This is all building around that shock and then a little bit of a suppression boost. And it's only four slots. So I'm actually not interested, sadly. God, I have so many relics I'm going to have to just use. Except for these. These, I don't care about those. Uh, crap. Ah. Hmm. Actually, that's super good because I already have bleeding effects for bleeding on crit. 
and loot quantity and quality, so that's a keep for sure. Chance to deal double damage, it's a caliber beta, it's automatically disqualified. Not good. Don't have anything to make me berserk. You're a melee weapon. Not that good. Again with the kill streak stuff, don't care. Yeah. Lose the loot quality, but all that could potentially be good. So we'll have to wait and see. Chance to fear on critical hit, that's good. Boosted critical damage, boost against regular damage. Bonus damage for knockback skills is kind of a waste. more stuff related to Berserk Tokens, but I don't have anything that gives Berserk Tokens. I have Enrage. But that's not that useful. I might re-roll this. Because there's better chance to fear on critical hits. So yeah, let's re-roll it. We'll see what we can get. Actually, is our tech tree done? No, it is not. And it's only this one, okay. Ugh, expensive. But we can reroll this. Damage bonus for bleeding effects. I don't know if it stacks, but sure, why not? God, just all of these to go through. That's gonna be... It's not gonna be a nightmare or anything. It's not gonna be that difficult. It's just so many. So many things to chew up. Hmm, actually, I didn't even look at that. Actually, well, yeah, I lose quality because I lose health. Chance for an attack to become flesh bane equal to dodge value. Oh, that's... That's not that good. Because I can guarantee... What's my dodge value? Zero. Yeah, so that just... That's a given. Ah, sucks the first holy thing, at least this holy thing is just not that good of armor. It's a shame, but at least I got something. I bet there is like a whole melee build thing you can do, I'm just not really seeing it. But I like playing kind of back and using range to my advantage instead of getting walloped by everything. But that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.